love what we do here, please consider backing us on Patreon. Please take a second and click the thumbs up. It really helps us out. Порой бывает такой несдержанный и резкий. Извини. Хорошо. Виктор, мы. А это кто? Просто скажи мне, где встретиться с профессором? Hey there, and welcome to the first real official episode of Crime Coverage, formerly known as the Kidnapper's Corner, and today we're actually recapping a Kidnapper's Corner episode, so does it really count as a Crime Coverage episode? It doesn't matter, it's all the KK. I'm the artist formerly known as the Kidnapper, aka Topsy Kretz, and before I get into this episode, I want to thank longtime contributor Blow the Lights for our excellent intros. They have been modified again to have the crime coverage feel, and they're excellent. They really help uh, with the look and everything with the show and the professionalism of it, so we appreciate that. Today in Recap 22, we are covering another Russian scene similar to Here Comes the Duct Tape Bride. This is a Russian scene from a series called Veronica A. Runaway, starring the amazing Natalia Bardot. So check these out, and I will be back with you when you're done. Здесь вся сумма, о которой мы договаривались. Надейтесь, считать не буду. Пожалуйста, да мне чем. Ну, пока еще никто не задыхался. Звучит заказа. Машине это ясно? Расскажите, пожалуйста, кто вы и что вам от меня надо. Виктор, он вам меня отдал. Зачем? Да почему вы молчите? Это вы что, каменный, что ли? Пожалуйста. 
Я вас очень прошу. Там. Можете его продать, а? Очень прошу, а? Умоляю, пожалуйста. Теряли. Я не знаю, я палкой еще в жизни никого не убивал. Если бы не я, между прочим, ты валялась там с проломленной башкой. У тебя шкуру. Вперед. Да. Ну, пожалуйста, там нечем. Доставлен почти в идеальном состоянии. Нет, когда я говорю почти. Сиди спокойно. Имеется в виду, что у нее запачка на одежде, они выбиты зубы. Сиди спокойно!
Сиди спокойно. Я тебе сейчас в багажник положу. Сиди спокойно. Не выбиты зубы. Да. Я видела на дороге джип этого человека. В какие окна он заглядывал? Как он мог знать, куда мы едем? Не знаю я. Я видела, как он за нами ехал. Иди сюда. Да куда вы меня тащите? Я его видела. Keep your hands where I can see them. No, in all seriousness. These scenes are incredible. Natalia Bardo is absolutely phenomenal. And what I would like to say is, just imagine this hair. Yeah, хоть раз давала тебе повод. With this outfit. In these scenes. really all I can say. She is a fun, that's a, that is a beautiful woman. Um, she has another full treatment scene. I can't find it anywhere. That's the thing with the international scenes, man. They're hard to find. The next thing we're going to do now is I am going to watch the scene beginning to end the whole episode and do some commentary on it and talk about some other stuff. So basically what happened, and you know, we've learned some stuff um, from the original episode. The last time I put this up, uh, recently, it was called episode 28 slash recap 22. Basically, it was just a re-upload with the new commentary with myself and the ladies in it. I learned a lot more from actually doing the recording of this myself. See, that's a difference uh, when I do the recording and I actually get the whole scenario, everything. You learn a lot. Because originally, I thought what was going on was like... Um, this guy was like her boyfriend, and there was some guy in the woods who tried to interfere with them, uh, like with the kidnapping scenario, some guy, some innocent guy, and we learned that's not the case at all. In fact, so basically what happens at the beginning, this guy who chloroforms her, um, I don't know if he's like a pimp or something, he's like some like Hugh Hefner guy, right? He, she catches him having like an orgy here, and I can't show it, but... Uh, yeah, basically he comes in and knocks her out, and, uh, yeah, well, she gets upset because, like, I guess they were, she thought they were a thing, maybe. I can't, obviously, it's not in English, so I don't know for sure. But she thought they were a thing, she catches him having an orgy, she goes to leave, he chloroforms her, she wakes up in the trunk, okay? Well, what we end up finding is that she ends up escaping out of the car and runs when this dude uh, goes into a store or something, I don't know, um, he chases her through the woods, and it turns out 
what actually happens is this guy in the woods that gets knocked out that we saw in episode 28, but now we see the whole thing. He's like some kind of serial killer or something. I'm pretty sure this dude's out in the wood with, woods with like trophies of his victims. That's that like bloody purse he picks up and all kinds of stuff. So basically the kidnapper saves her from getting murdered by the serial killer. And then they're back in the car and there's a serious continuity error here that pops up because all of a sudden they're just back in the car. Okay, she's got that awesome duct tape gag on and her face is covered with a scarf initially, right? Then it comes down. Her hands are taped behind her back, clearly, the whole time. And what's great is that, like, that guy that's behind them that she starts freaking out about is the serial killer. And because she's gagged, this guy doesn't know what's going on, the driver. Um, you know, and she can't tell him, hey, you know, that serial killer guy's behind us. Um, and then he veers off to the side, all right, and, uh, you know, she, uh, they keep going and she relaxes. And then when they get to the house or wherever they're going, suddenly her hands are now taped in front. And then he cuts the tape off. So they must have forgot her hands were taped behind in the car. Uh, you know, that's a real continuity kind of weirdness there. I don't know. I mean, obviously... He would have retaped them in the front if he was just going to cut them loose, so that doesn't really make any sense. But they get into the cabin, and then the, the the serial killer shows back up. Like, he's trailing this girl, and he gets back in there. Like, he shows up at the window, and then there's a big standoff. He gets killed, I'm pretty sure, and the kidnapper gets shot, and then he shows up at the restaurant... She's still in captivity after this for a while. Like, I think she's back at the Pimp's Mansion. Um, but it's, it's pretty interesting how much more to there, there was, uh, this that there was that we didn't know about from somebody else's edit. Uh, like I said, I like to do the recordings if I can, get them in the highest uh, video quality and keep the uh, proper amount of context. And again, I, I have to you know abide by copyright guidelines and everything, so I can't just show everything but i think i do a pretty good job with the context here so that's these scenes i finally figured it out he's the russian transporter think about it he's this dude he's got this gorgeous gag lady in his bmw sedan transporting her she escapes into the woods he catches her again regags her takes her to a little cabin and then you well, know, statham's house wasn't a cabin but it's pretty close i mean yeah, I don't know why it never hit me, because the first time we ran these uh, scenes was for our Trunk Week theme, and the headliner of Trunk Week was the Transporter. So, I don't know. I don't know why I never got it. I don't know why the BMW didn't just give it away right away. But, uh, and what about that awesome peel-out right here? That's pretty slick. Gotta give him some credit. But, uh, I mean, he's no Statham, but, you know, good scene. Um, you know, the, the DID scenes, though, in this are awesome. That is one of the most aesthetically pleasing duct tape gags you will ever see. One of the best applied ever, without question. Natalia Bardot is a phenomenal woman. Um, great stuff. And maybe, hopefully, at some point we could see her again here. It's possible. That's what we got for this episode. Thanks again to Blow the Lights for the new intros uh, here for our debut crime coverage recap. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thanks. <laughs>
Мне тяжело дышать, я задыхаюсь. Отпустите меня немедленно! Да мне чем...